Hey everyone, in this video, we're gonna be showing you something that is really awesome and a great way to make use of an old Mac you may have laying around. This is content caching. It's really awesome, so let's check it out, see what it does and how you enable it on your Mac. So what is content caching? This is a newer feature that's been added to the latest versions of the Mac OS operating system. It first came to Macs on Mac OS Sierra with tethered caching and high Sierra on, we got untethered caching. What this does is it will use your computer storage to store downloaded files you may want to install on another device. This is incredibly useful if you have multiple iOS devices or Mac OS devices. It means you only need to download something once and the other time it will be using the cached files on your computer. This works on all types of Apple downloads you may have. It works on Mac OS updates, iOS updates app downloads on your Mac, app downloads on your iOS device, updates on your iOS apps. Many different Apple services will be cached on your computer. Let's say for example that I download a Mac OS update on my MacBook Pro. I download it through the network, through the internet, and I wait longer to get that downloaded. And I have multiple Macs, so I wanna update those as well. Assuming they were all on the same version as the initial computer that downloaded it, it will be able to use that cached file. It will be looking for that same file and it will find it on my network and it will be able to take that cached file and actually install it from there rather than having to go through the network. Chances are your Mac has gigabit ethernet and that means you'll be able to download your update at 1000 megabits per second compared to whatever your download speed of the internet is. In my case, that's 150, which is fast, but not nearly as fast as 1000. So unless you have gigabit internet, this is going to be a major speed boost for you. So what do we need? Well, we need a Mac that is running High Sierra or newer. The thing that's great about this is that you don't need a ton of horsepower to pull this off. As long as you have a gigabit ethernet port and a Mac that can run a newer operating system, you're pretty good to go. And the best part is that through Apple's continued effort to make the macOS server app worse, they built in all of this functionality, including file sharing into the sharing section of system preferences. So you don't need to pay $20 to get the macOS server app. None of that is already built into your Mac. The Mac mini is a perfect solution for this. It can run headless. You don't need a monitor at all. As you can tell, I like Mac minis. I have three of them. So, Yes, they are very awesome, and this is the perfect device. It uses a minimal amount of power, and it's very small and compact. You can just pretty much put it anywhere. So how do we get this set up and running? Well, first thing we need to do is go into System Preferences and click on Sharing. If you scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll see a section called Content Caching. We'll go ahead and enable that, wait a couple of seconds, and it should be running. Yeah, you'll notice an option called cache, and there's three options. There's all content, only shared content, and only iCloud content. All content will have everything from Mac and iOS updates, app downloads, app updates, and your iCloud drive files that you access from the internet. Only shared content will have everything I said, except for the iCloud stuff, and then only iCloud content will have only iCloud stuff in none of the app updates. I do all content, unless you're tight on space, then you can choose what you really want to do. If we go ahead and click on options, we can see how much space is currently taking up on our computer with cache, and we can limit the amount of size the cache takes up. The more cache you have, the more things you can store in your computer, and eventually things will become obsolete, so you may want to clear that every now and then, but it will automatically purge the oldest content first when you do hit your maximum size limit. From there, everything is up and running. It recommends you restart your client devices if you want to see this functionality take place right away. But all we have to do is just go ahead and download something on our computer or our phone, and it will automatically start downloading on the computer as well. I'm using the iStat menus on this computer to see the network activity. And as soon as I hit download on a software update on my MacBook Pro, I can see that the spike happened immediately and it started downloading it on this computer as well. So the way this actually works is that your computer requests the update from Apple, but the computer actually talks to this one instead. This computer gets the update from Apple 
and then sends it over to your other computer. So you don't have to download it twice, it only downloads it once, and it goes from the internet to here to your client computer. It's really awesome the way it works, and it's super seamless. Now, when we go to download that same update on any other computer, it downloads very, very fast. Now for internet connectivity options, you do want to connect this to ethernet, mainly because you can access it at much faster speeds. Some computers support AC Wi-Fi, which is much faster. Others support only N Wi-Fi, which is much slower. But either way, if your computer has an ethernet port, it generally should be gigabit speeds. That's the most reliable way, and it's also the fastest way. So definitely plug into ethernet if you have that option. But other than that, we just have to download our stuff and then experience the speed benefits and that's pretty much it. It's really simple, quick, and easy. It's a great way to make use of an old computer. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. If you like this video, leave a like and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. This is Mark with Hat Tech, and I will see you in the next one.